Mississippi. Biggest hammer they've got back there. 16 to 30. Isaac. Squeezes oh, through the middle. Touchdown. He <laughs> said <laughs> Isaac squeezes through. And with the kick by Hazelwood, 7-0 Bulldogs. Well, that was the theory that Hank Stram used to have with regards to his Mighty Mites when he had Robert Holmes and Mike Garrett. Take a look here. Isaac straight ahead, and everybody looks and acts like, well, I guess we've got him. Rudd's got him. Jackson has him. No, I guess not. He broke through all the arm tackles. That's why you don't assume. Ozell Powell was another one that looked like he had a piece of it. He returned by bowl season. He had a stress fracture repaired in his forearm. Dennis Riddle weaving to the goal line for a touchdown. Rehabbing a broken wrist. Got a couple of balls last week. The extra point by John Brock ties it at seven. Uh, sartorially and otherwise. All right. 13 yard line. Kitchens with all day. Finally throws an interception to McGill. Izell McGill returns to the 15. Runs to the right and delivers in the back of the end zone for Woodbury. Touchdown. Ryan Hazelwood's extra point kick limps over the crossbar. <laughs> Take a look at Woodbury here trying to get away from the rush. Tate throws off the right foot. I'm not exactly sure that's who he's going to, but Woodbury makes the diving catch, uses the big body in pursuit. There's the throw, and Woodbury behind. Really, that's not bad coverage at all on the part of Bryant, but Woodbury makes the play. From the 32... They need four, and they option pitch for Alexander. They've got, I believe, five. I don't think that's even close enough to measure. Should be first down, Alabama. What? In this case, Sean Alexander to tailback. Smith in motion, another option. Stamp and on the reverse, it's Michael Vaughn. Favors read it, turned it back inside. Vaughn, with his second effort, is close for a first down. There were a couple of great plays there. The first one by Favors, and then to counter it, the persistence in the open field of Vaughn. On the part of Vaughn. Eight-yard pickup. John Alexander runs into the waiting arms of Favors. Third and one. Alexander takes the pitch to the 11 of Mississippi State. This one, which began at 20, reaches the 11 of the Dogs. With 2.50 and counting in the first half. Sean Alexander. Touchdown. The blocks by the left side of the offensive line are just outstanding. Take a look right here at the people and what they do. Just driving Lacoste down. Favors cannot get off the block of Patrick Hape. And as a result, Sean Alexander... Boy, I tell you what, he gets in for the touchdown, but he owes an awful lot to his friends, particularly the left side of the offensive line, Samuel's friend, Kazi, and the tight end, Patrick Hayes. And put an asterisk on the worst of the right guard, Leron White, because he had to carry out his block minus one shoe. He ran out of it. Alexander sprinted past, and the extra point by Brock is no oh, good. That's big. They have had all kinds of misery at the place kicker position this year. Stallings, for this game, left Brian Cunningham at home. He has been the starter most of the year. Brock misses his second PAT of the season. Didn't miss it by much, but it's enough to keep the Bulldogs on top by one. John Brock missed an extra point, which could have tied the game late in the first half. Two for two, but the longest is just 30 this year. This is a 42-yarder. Plenty of leg and drilled it. Wow. And that's about as animated as you'll see Gene Stallings. I think he really took a risk there. Missed a great shot today at Wake Forest. So now the Bulldogs from their 20. 
Lahiti Grant went in motion. Tate rolling to his left and spots the open tight end. Reginald Kelly barreling up the side, cutting back, and Kelly may take it. before he's run down by Kevin Jackson. Interesting, Kelly was trying to get back in the game, but he wasn't able to do it. Against an all-out blitz, take down at the 22. The biggest defensive play of the night, and it's turned in by Staten. And now you're looking at a 40-yard field goal into the wind. Hazelwood's best, 51 yards. This is a 39-yarder, but it is into the wind, which at the moment is not all that strong. And Hazelwood has this one through. One timeout left, Kitchens goes to work. Almost intercepted by Lacoste. And this is a set you don't see much from the tide. Four wide outs, Riddle the only setback. This one is complete to Hall, immediately driven back by Baydon. He's a little bit short of the first down, and so Alabama doesn't get the luxury of, of getting together and huddling up. They're taking a little bit too much time. Clark continues to roll as they get ready for a third and three. Kitchens complete and breaking through is Marcel West to the 45 of Mississippi State. Or do I go a little bit soft? Four wides again. Again, no pressure. Hall along the side. Got to wrap him up. And they do at the 37-yard line. Hall does a great job of getting the ball out of bounds. Well, they're not quite there yet. 50 seconds to go. Kitchens, at last pressured, steps up, though, and it's deflected. And not intercepted, incomplete. Badon made a dive, and they say he did not come up with it. Match up to watch, perhaps top of your screen. Vaughn guarded by McGill on fourth and three. Kitchens guns it, incomplete. might have had a shot at making the catch. Kitchens, once again, Riddle steps up with the good block. Kitchens has the hook pattern, throws across his body. West just can't come up with it. That was the catchable ball. And is Jackie Sherrill a happy man? For the first time in his coaching career, he's going to defeat Alabama. Boy, oh boy, is he emotional. That is a man who's been under more than a little heat this year. Because they were three and eight last year, they have the potential to go three and eight this year. It's not going to happen because of what will be the biggest victory for Mississippi State, without question, in the 90s and maybe all the way back to 1980, the last time they pulled this up. Well, ju just the fact that we were showing that game would seem to indicate how significant it was. I mean, we brought in the tape and everything else. His young daughter Bonnie, who sang the national anthem, hugging her dad. Boy, oh boy, they're going to party in Starkville tonight. Starting right now. <laughs> Alabama will fall to eight and two. Still some doubt in the SEC West race. Mississippi State. With the upset of the decade for Jackie Sherrill, they knock off Alabama. May not be Holyfield Tyson, but it's darn close. And so long, goalposts. 